Suppose that c of t equals 5t over t squared plus 1 in milligrams per milliliter represents the concentration of a drug in a patient's bloodstream t hours after the drug was administered. Construct a table of values for c of t for t equals 1, 2, 5, and 10. Round off answers to three decimal places. Use the table to sketch a graph and interpret the results. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to construct a table of values. Okay, so construct a table of values for c of t for t equals 1, 2, 5, and 10. Okay, so let's construct a table of values. So I'll be, so I'll have t, so, so we'll have t, and then, and then we'll have sort of columns. On here, okay. And below t is c of t, okay. So below t is c of t. So for t equals one, now I'm just going to include zero here, just to. So I'm going to include zero, then one, two, five, and ten, and then I'm going to evaluate this function. I'm going to evaluate this function for all these times, 0, 1, 2, 5, and 10. Okay, so what is C of 0? So C of 0 will be, so C of 0 will be, okay, we'll use this function right here. So it will be 5 times 0 over 0 squared. So that's T squared, so T is 0 for this one. So 0 squared plus 1. And that is 5 times 0 is 0, over 0 squared is 1, um, 0 squared is 0, plus 1 is 1. And that's equal to 0. And so c of 0 is 0. So that's 0 right there. Now how about c of 1? Okay, how about c of 1? So c of 1 is, again, substitute 1 for t. So you get 5 times 1 over 1 squared plus 1. That gives you 5 times 1 is 5 divided by 1 squared plus 1. Well, that's 2. So that's 5 over 2. And that is equal to about 2.5, right? So that's 2.5. Okay, now how about when t equals 2, right? So what is c of 2? c of 2 is 5 times 2 over 2 squared plus 1. Again, wherever t appears, change that, substitute 2. So that's 5 times 2 is 10. 2 squared is 4, plus 1 is 5, and that gives you 2. So this is 2. And then, how about c of 5? c of 5 is equal to 5 times 5 all over 5 squared plus 1. So this is 25 divided by... 5 squared is 25, plus 1 is 26. Now, let's solve this. Let's... What's the decimal representation of this fraction? 25 divided by 26. This is 0 0.962. So this is 0 0.962. So that's what we're going to put here. 962. And then last but not least, C of 10. Well, what? That's 5 times 10 divided by 10 squared plus 1. That's 50 divided by 10 squared is 100. Plus 1 is 101. And let's write that. So that's 50 divided by 101 is 0 0.495. This should be approximately. Okay, approximately 0 0.495. So that's 0 0.495. Okay, so our table is now complete. We can get rid of our computations. So the next thing that we need to do is to use the table to sketch the graph. Okay, let me... Uh, we already have a pre-made graph. Let me show that one. Okay, so this is the graph for this table of values. And so, here you can see that... So when t... So this is your t right here. So this is your t. And this is your c of t. So when t is 0, our c of t is 0. Right? So this is your point. And then when t is 1, when t is 1, 
our c of t is 2.5. So this is the point. When t is 2, our c of t is 2. Right? So that's the point. Uh, when t is 5, that's 0 0.962. So that's about 1. Right? So that's about 1. 1. And then when t is, is 10, um, c of t is about 0 0.495. So that's here. 0 0.495. Okay, so that's the graph for this uh, function. Now, the last thing that we need to do is to interpret the results. What does this mean? Okay, so this means that um, the highest the the highest concentration is um, after one hour, right? So after one hour, that's where the highest concentration of the drug in the blood in a bloodstream, right? So that's the highest concentration right there, and then it slowly um, trickles down to about zero. Okay, after 10 hours, it was about 0 0.495, and you could expect that that number will continue to uh, go lower than that in the next hours.